He is known for being a Serbian physicist and physical chemist who made significant contributions to science. He is recognized for his numerous patents, including one that extended the range of long-distance telephone communication. His name is Mihajlo Pupin. In the annals of scientific history, one name stands out, Mihajlo Idvorsky Pupin, also known as Michael Pupin, a Serbian physicist and physical chemist who made a lasting impact in the United States. Pupin's brilliance was evident in his numerous patents, but his most notable invention was a breakthrough in long-distance telephone communication. By placing loading coils at specific intervals along transmitting wires, Pupin greatly extended the range of telephone communication. This invention revolutionized the way people could connect with each other, paving the way for global communication networks that we rely on today. Pupin's contributions went beyond just communication technology. He played a pivotal role in the founding of prestigious scientific institutions such as the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics, which later became NASA, the American Mathematical Society, and the American Physical Society. Pupin's involvement in these organizations showcased his commitment to advancing scientific knowledge and collaboration. Not only was Pupin a brilliant scientist, but he was also a philanthropist and diplomat. He served as an honorary consul of Serbia in the United States from 1912 to 1920, and he played a significant role in determining the borders of the newly formed Kingdom of Serbs, Croats, and Slovenes. Pupin's impact extended far beyond the realm of science, leaving an indelible mark on both the scientific and diplomatic communities. In the late 19th century, Mihajlo Pupin made a groundbreaking scientific discovery that would revolutionize long-distance telecommunication. His invention, known as Pupin Coils, was a result of his extensive research and built upon the earlier work of Oliver Heaviside. Pupin's patent for loading coils, as they were also called, was filed in 1899, just seven years after Heaviside's pioneering work. The significance of Pupin's patent became evident when American Telephone and Telegraph AT&T, acquired the American rights to it. This acquisition made Pupin a wealthy man, highlighting the importance of his invention. However, AT&T already had their own development in progress, led by George Campbell, and had been challenging Pupin with their own patent. Despite acquiring Pupin's patent, AT&T did not make significant use of it. They were concerned about losing control of an invention that had immense value in extending the range of long-distance telephones, particularly for submarine communication. This fear led to at and T's hesitation in fully embracing Pupin coils and utilizing their capabilities. Nevertheless, Pupin's invention had a profound impact on the field of telecommunication. It allowed for the extension of the range of long-distance telephones and played a crucial role in improving submarine communication. Pupin's coils became an essential element in the infrastructure of telecommunication networks, enabling the transmission of signals over longer distances. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.